Welcome to the shop, everyone. Today we're going to be going over these AFR 265 big block Chevrolet cylinder heads I purchased for this 454 build that we're doing. Now, because it's a 454, it's not no big stroker engine, sometimes they just don't need that much cylinder head that, you know, I mean, big block Chevys, they got cylinder heads, they're, they're huge. But anyways, doing a lot of research, uh, AFR makes some pretty nice heads. And for the CCs of the intake ports, and they flow just phenomenal, in my opinion. Now, got the heads out of the box. Those are the rocker studs there, and they're actually ARP, and they came with the, the heads. And also, in this other bag over there, are the pushrod guide plates. And now, they, they come in like two sections, and I've not used you know any pushrod guide plates like this yet and we'll kind of go over later in the video why I think they offer them like that all right so I have had these heads apart before and uh, to check my piston to valve clearance when I had degree to cam in on the first video and also I got these cylinder heads here because of the valve springs that they offered now I am running a solid lift roller cam and these springs are for a hydraulic roller cam. But since my solid roller cam is a street version, the spring pressures were very close. And so I thought I'd be able to make the valve springs they offered work. And I've heard good things about their springs. And here's the springs that they offer. And so Comp Cam, they recommend you know a seat pressure and open pressure for the cam that I bought and so I have a friend who has I call it like a valve spring dyno and you program in what you're looking for and you can press the spring and it tells you what you need as far as to make that spring work and what we found was the stock keepers that came with the AFR heads I needed to buy some keepers that had a 50 thousandths lower keeper height so you can see there, the stock keeper, the bright one, that's from AFR, and the one I bought is the black anodized one. And you can see how it's further down, pulls the spring further down to have a little bit more seat pressure and open pressure. So that put us right in the ballpark where we needed to be. Now the cylinder head flow, the biggest thing that really attracted me was the low lift flow on these intake ports. Uh, they, they just really do great. The intake and exhaust, low the flows are up there. And the cam I got is in between the six, 650, so max flow is gonna work out good. So, let's get a look at these ports. Now, they don't advertise them fully CNC port. It's like a uh, bowl blend, maybe a gasket match. Uh, I did buy the you know the heads that had the fully CNC combustion chamber but this port here you see that little spot right there out of all the ports that's the only one that's not like completely CNC the uh, exhaust ports are 100% CNC ported the intakes are 100% CNC ported now that one that you saw just had that one side on that wall where you know the CNC didn't touch it but uh wow I mean, they look good. And the combustion chambers are supposed to be 112 cc's. Now, the valve angles and the valve seats, you know, it has several seat angles on the intake. And, ow, they just, it looks like a very high quality valve seat job. And then on the exhaust side, I'm trying to keep the camera <laughs> from bouncing around too much but it actually has a nice radii going into the exhaust port too so uh, they just the quality just looks very nice so it also comes with valve spring cups to hold the valve springs in place kind of just doing a overview of what the heads look like so you guys can get a look the uh, rocker studs are reinforced 
And those are with the 50 thousandths keepers on there. I had already put those on. Now, another reason I took the spring off was I was gonna get a push rod length later on. I'm gonna set the heads on there and get a push rod length. But uh, right now we're just looking through the head. Just looks nice and thick, well made. Very satisfied with it. When you look inside where the water jackets are and the combustion chamber is very thick, a lot of material. And then also they have, if you did want to run six studs, you know, on the cylinders for more clamping, you could actually put studs there. Now my block doesn't have the bosses for that, so I can't utilize that. So the deck is advertised at 750, three quarters of an inch. And yeah, it definitely is. Very nice. Now, the intake gasket, AFR offers a gasket for these particular heads. But also, if you have like the Felpo gasket that comes with a lot of gasket sets, you know, you can lay it on there. And it's, it's, it's not a, a, a perfect, you know, the edges. Now, you know, I think you could modify it probably to make it work, but I just decided to go ahead and go with the AFR gasket because it fits so well. And that's what I'll be using when I port the intake that I have for this engine. So it just lines up really, really nice. Looks good. Wow. Now the head gasket I got is a Felpro, you know, 1027, and it's four aluminum heads, and they claim it's up to a thousand horsepower. So it's a, uh, I just love the way it follows the contour of the, the chamber so well. And the finish on those chambers, it just, it's a very nice looking head. All right, so now on those push rod guide plates, they come in two sections. Now, anybody who's built engines before, you know uh, to get your rocker arms lined up on your valves, sometimes you have to move the guide plates around to get them to center your you know, valve, valve guide stem. And so that's what I think they did here is by having it move in the center, get those rockers on there and those are scorpion rockers 1.7s uh, I've never run scorpion stuff before but uh, it is a real nice finished piece uh, they, they, they look the quality looks like it's there for the price for sure all right so you know if you move the guide plate back and forth you can center the rocker arm on your valve tip and you can see how you can move it back and forth like that and then you probably tighten it down once you get them how you want them lined up and also we'll be going over how I get my push rod length when I get the engine assembled so all that looks like it's gonna work really nice Now, uh, to get my push rod length, you know, I put like checker springs on there and they're just easier for you to push open and uh, don't have that spring force pushing back. So the spark plugs that they kind of recommend for it, I bought those and uh, I didn't measure the length of the threads on there, but it's a uh, pretty long thread a lot of good contact surface there let's see how far it sticks into the chamber and you can buy washers to index your uh, spark plugs if they get too close to your piston 
but um, this engine here is the pop stop I have won't be needed and I hooked up a, a igniter I have just to see what it kind of looked like that's the intake port it just really looks nice doesn't it with all that CNC work in there and this will be the exhaust side and that's the exhaust port yeah it's like I say fully CNC looks really nice And here's kind of a simulation of the intake opening, exhaust opening. Kind of neat how the light flashes out of there. And also I did kind of a simulation of like when the engine's running. Intake, spark, exhaust, intake, spark, exhaust, intake, spark, exhaust. Well, oh, that looked pretty cool. So that pretty well sums it up for this video on these cylinder heads. And as always guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like ring the bell share it uh, subscribe if you would like to and as always thank you so much for watching and we'll see y'all on the next video thanks so much